Welcome to this how to frame a door opening video. Here you will learn the necessary steps to building a header and installing it in a framed wall to create a door opening. The parts used to frame a door opening are the header, the king studs, and the trimmers. The parts that make up the rest of the wall are the double top plates, the bottom plate, and the wall studs. You can view a link to this and other wall framing graphics in the comments below. The first step to framing a door opening is to mark the doorway parts locations on the wall top and bottom plates. Stand the wall plates on their narrow edges and make sure that the crowned edge is facing up. Flush the ends of the plates with each other and make sure that they are snug up against each other. Mark the king stud and trimmer locations on both plates. Draw a K for the king stud location and a T for the trimmer. After the door opening is laid out on the wall plates, you will mark the wall stud layout for the rest of the wall. Learn how to lay out a stud wall at 16 inches on center by clicking on this video link. The wall will be laid out from one of the ends as if the door was not there but when you build the wall, you will not install studs where the door is. The next step is to build the header for the doorway opening. The header is made by sandwiching a piece of OSB between two boards and nailing them together. If you are using LVL beams as a header, you will nail the beams together without sandwiching OSB between them. It is important to calculate the load that will rest on the header and size it accordingly before it is installed. Start by cutting two header boards three inches longer than your rough opening size. Then cut a piece of OSB or plywood to sandwich between the two header boards. It should be a bit smaller than the header boards so it does not stick out around the edges. Crown the two header boards and then set the piece of OSB between them. Align the edges of the header boards flush with each other and then nail them to each other using 12D nails. The next step is to assemble the header, king studs, and wall plates. Mark the height of the door header from the floor on the king studs so your door will fit properly. Align the header with the mark and then nail the king studs to the header. Now nail the king studs and header assembly to both the top and bottom plates on the respective king stud marks. Finish building the rest of the wall by installing the wall studs. After the wall is framed you will install the trimmer boards. Measure the distance from the bottom of the header to the top of the bottom plate and cut a trimmer board for each side of the doorway. Crown and install the trimmers by nailing the bottom plates to them and nailing them to the king studs. Make sure to nail from the inside of the doorway so if the nails protrude they will stick out on the inside of the wall and not into the doorway. If there is an open space between the door header and the top plate you can install the cripple studs above the header at this time. Continue learning about wall framing by clicking on one of these videos. Thanks for watching.